Chuck Owens, Director of Horticulture here at Bell and Graf Gardens. Today we're talking about how we grow our cascading mums that are on display in the gardens in early November here at Bell and Graf. These plants are all grown through vegetative cuttings that are taken in January. This is a 10 month growing process to get our plants from cuttings to large flowering plants. So um, this is one of our cascading mums that's been growing in the greenhouse for about six months. I'm going to take a little cutting off of it and show you what I'm talking about. Set this on the ground. But this, this is about the size of our vegetative cuttings that we take in January. And here we are in July, and you see how large these plants are. Grow. They're growing about a foot in the month. They, they put a month in the greenhouses. So they're very vigorous. They're very upright growers. And so we have to do some pinching to make these plants branch and bush out to get the plants that we want to get to. So when we come out here in first part of June and take these plants out of the greenhouse, and come outside and put them together in their finished forms. We have large, nice, well-branched plants. And what we're doing here is we're pinching side branches to make more side branches. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that here for you. This plant has already been pinched a little bit, but I'm going to continue that process here. So we're basically looking at the main stem and we're coming to the first pair of leaves which has been pinched. Those buds will activate at those first pairs of leaves and the new buds, the new branches take over and then we pinch them and that process continues in the greenhouse through the spring and into early June. So it's just a matter of coming in here and selecting those, those nodes for pinching. basically see what I'm doing right here at the bottom of this plant. We have to do that every year for about 4,000 plants in order to produce, produce our show. So we're constantly pinching mums throughout the spring in the greenhouses to get these plants ready to come outside and go into their final forms. Right here we have a cascade that has been potted up of a hanging cascade. There's three of these plants in each pot. And as you can see, they're already at their finished length of about four feet. These plants will hang from, our, from the bridges and balconies at, here at Bellingraff. <clears throat> this is one of our homemade, custom-made frames that is used to hang these from the balconies on the Bellingraff home and in the Beam Porcelain Gallery. The growing pot fits right in this frame. This goes on the balcony and is then ready to hang. That pinching process continues as we come out, even as we're outside. These plants will be sheared every two weeks to continue that side branching. That process stops 1st of September. And these plants need to start making flower buds. It takes them about eight weeks to do that. As they begin to make flower buds, eight, eight weeks later, they'll be in full bloom in the gardens. In addition to growing mum cascades, we also grow these cascading mums in baskets. This is a 20 inch basket. It has eight plants in each basket. 
these plants are potted up very similar to the Cascades, but then they're left to hang, trailing here, and as you can see, they're tied to the ground with this plant tape. So again, we have our Cascade mum coming out of the greenhouses. They're potted up at a slight angle here uh, in our baskets. We remove the bamboo stake, plant falls, and then we ease it down and tie it down to the ground uh, with some plant ribbon. Again, outside, the, the pinching process continues. These plants are sheared every 14 days to get these plants to continue to branch out. Uh, keeping in mind that if each of these tips is where the flowers form in the fall. So the more flowering tips we have, the more flowers we have. Another form we grow cascade mums in are columns. This happens to be one of our pyramid shaped columns. This is a four sided frame that the mums are tied to. This plant, this in this pot, there are eight, again, eight mums in this in this form. Uh, they're sitting in a 20 gallon pot. Frame is set on top of the pot. And then the mums are planted in the soil and then tied to this frame. Again, as you can see, these mums are ready for shearing to continue that branching process to multiply all these tips so the flowers form in the fall. I'm going to show you how we pot up one of our cascading mum mini columns. So this is it's a very simple frame that we use here. This is dog fence wire. Uh, we can cut this wire to any size we want to. And we can, therefore, we can alter our size of our finished column. So our standard columns are about six feet tall. We can make these three to four to five feet tall and have a different type of display. So I'm going to take one of our cascading mums that's been growing in the greenhouses for about six months. I'm going to pot it up in the in the container. I'm going to undo these twisties very quickly. Then we're going to remove the bamboo stake. This bamboo stake keeps this plant growing upright. If we did not stake it during the process, you can see it would start to fall and flop over. So, real simply, just a matter of coming here, finding one of these vertical fence wires, and just very loosely securing the twisty to the plant. We don't want to crank down it too hard. We don't want to turtle, turtle the tissue. Here I am finding this main main terminal. We've got two of them here. I'm going to grab one of them right here and tie this one. That one's loosely tied on there. We'll continue the process with five more. Five other plants. And then we'll come back and we'll start to repinch all these side branches that have developed during our growing process in the greenhouses to get this plant to push out and fill in. Again, noting that all the flowers in the fall will be forming on or around the growing tips. Again, we're we're doing this right now in mid-July. This pinching process process will continue on through July and all through August. It's then around September 1st, all this pinching and shearing process ends. At that time, these plants will start making flower buds. They're short day bloomers, or they begin to set their flower buds as the days begin to shorten and the nights begin to lengthen. It's actually the lengthening nights that starts that process. But for these mums, that process begins around September the 1st. At that point, we have to stop sharing. Um, if we continue to do that process, we'll just be removing flower buds. That process ends. Uh, these plants are very vigorous, as you can tell. 
plants are growing a foot a month here in the summertime and even before that in the greenhouses. As they begin their flowering process, they'll start to slow down a little bit. But first part of September and the end of September, we'll be applying a plant growth regulator, which is a chemical that will go in and start to retard the growth a little bit, to keep these plants from getting too large uh, and help them sort of harden off, tone up a little bit, and be able to hold up all this weight that's on these flower buds. Around mid-October, for the cascade mums that we looked at earlier, we'll have to remove all the twisties from the fence, do a little trimming from underneath the fence, and get those plants ready to be taken into the gardens, which happens uh, the last half of, of October. And then the plants are on display and in blooming in the gardens uh, in early November. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how we grow our cascading mums here at Bell and Graff. I hope to see you in the gardens uh, in early November to see these mums in their full grandeur on display here at Bell and Graff.